Hey guys, there. Glenda. We are DNA Adventure and Board Games. So tonight, I finally received this war of mine. Strangely enough, right? yes. Strangely enough, when I got the add-ons for this game, mm -hmm. I did not realize that that was going to extend on when I got the game. Oh. This game has some people got the base game months ago. Okay, so why as, did they delay? Because as they got things, they got the base game, so they sent out anybody who had the base games. Right. And as they had to add stuff on to them, so if you got almost everything, then you were you the did. last person to get stuff. Shouldn't you get the perk when you're mm. one of those who, like, spent more money on the kicks of that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's how it works. So, as normal, we're going to go ahead, we're going to open it, so you guys can see what's inside of it. Though... Most people that have kickstarted, they already know. Well, this is for some people who are still waiting on your shipment or didn't buy it and might change your mind and you might buy it. And for those of you who are new to our videos and unboxings, what we also do is 360 degree views of any of the miniatures that are in the game. So throughout the video, you will see 360 views of the <laughs> oh, miniatures. In the box. <laughs> Alright, so, this War of Mine, the board game, and you say this is based on a video game? It's based on a video game, basically what you're doing is, it's, you're a survivor in a war-torn city. Yeah. So instead yeah. of actually being like a, one of the warriors, you're running around trying to survive while the war is going on around you. Yeah. Uh, now, for people that are our age, okay. this has a loose base on Choose Your Own Adventure style, uh, the Choose Your Own Adventure books. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you right. can go to different pages Correct. and it tells you what happens Correct. by your choices. I remember that when mm -hmm. we were younger. And that's what they said there was like 2,000 choices ah, in there. And with every choose, yeah, that's your. 1,947 choices wow. just in the uh, Book of Scripts alone. Did you ever mention it is by 11-bit studios? No, but good job, you just did. So here's the initial setup of the game. Uh -huh. Apparently it's very elaborate. Well, that's what we need. Yeah. And because the way it scenarios. sounds is already complicated. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just judging it based there, on what I'm saying. I, I've been told there, like, there's a lot that goes on in this. See, there uh, we go. This is a sheet so you can save your games. Make your campaign. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. Ooh, can plastic bags thing. that haven't been used yet. Useful for anything. Um, looks like a possible quick reference chart. Oh, there are changes. Setup changes, things like that. Okay. It's useful all the time. Now, this is the one thing in this game that I saw there are a lot of tokens. Because you will need those. For medication, weapons, food. And how many game or players can play, did you say? Well. Would that? One to six. Oh, okay. Okay, so that makes sense. And 18 and up. Preferably adults only. Oh my god. This is the weirdest. Okay. Oh, wow. So this is one of the boards. This is a front and back style board. Um, it has a place for the different cards to go. And then this is the other side. Which is... Just a... What's the difference, you I, see? The other well, one looks this darker. This is a big building. <laughs> it looks like a house. And, and this looks like maybe a smaller apartment complex with yeah. underground. So. That's um, good though. Take two. So. Okay, let's just take the dice out. Looks like we got four different style dice. Um, not really sure what they're for. This looks like shooting, this looks like knife, this looks like fist. So we have yellow, red, black, and gray. 
And then a, well, that looks like then an eight size black die. Knives, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, you got four standy bases. Mm -hmm. We've gotten very used to these, and since they have you the said same four. Yeah, it's a one to six, I but there's only four. Six. Well, we'll figure that one out. But you yeah. know, from what you found, these these come in rather handy because you, you know, well, if I'm yeah. blue, I know which one my character is. Not unless if you're color blind or you get forgetting what your color is. <laughs> you Just still gotta keep bringing that. Somebody up. else's character. So, machinery parts. Um, I have no idea what those are. This, is, this is where it comes in handy reading rule book later on. Just got excited because it's fresh from the mail. Okay, so are you telling me that that was the rule book? Because there's none in there that looks like one. Well, possibly. It's a four character limit, it looks like, even though it's a. Doesn't it say one to six? Okay. Yeah, this is the rule book. Okay, hey, one to six it says here. New mistake. I Maybe didn't realize it. Up. I thought this was like scenarios, but yeah, this is the rule book, so. The Small they, rule book. They um, designed it like a journal. Of your life during this time. Morning and day action. Dusk. In evening, wow, scavenging. This, you know how this what reminds me of? What does it remind you of? Gems. No, was it plague ink? Which one is that? The one that has? Oh no no no, that's not what it is. <laughs> I think it's a goblet. Yeah, razor goblets. There you go. All right, so cards for night raids. Hooligans, hobos, looters, starving people. Sounds like the characters you will see. <laughs> and uh, they're slick. Color, colors. Colors. Colors mean something. And Close the call. next group yeah. is. Narrative actions, close call, dead on, duty, got it, handyman, hide shot. Close call. Ignore all wounds from a single combat die roll or ignore all wounds from one night raid card. Okay, so the next group is... Says something. Read it. Well, it's an improved deadfall trap to cage trap. Cage trap. I mean, it's probably just items you can have. How the card feels though? I don't know. Yeah. Pain. It's not sticking. Yeah. These are the green ones because you know that I, like I said, we really don't know what some of these cards are for. So. We just unboxing, presenting what's inside. Bought it without knowing what's in it. Oh, no, I mean, I looked, but this was so long ago. <laughs> and okay, so blank cards? Blank cards. Could be your... Um, could be anything. We have fate cards. Ooh, fate cards. Yeah, so there's fate cards. And some more cards. Exploration cards. Door, peek through the keyhole. Search the furniture, search the heap. Reality impact, stairs down, bars. Was that card you said? Oh, well, there's a character mixed in with those. I was going to say, exploration. Well, I mean, they're all exploration cards. Just, okay. just different. Um, these apparently are the characters. Ha! Huh, there you go. Everything's stated here. 
No, that would be why it's part of the rule book. Yeah, that's why I'm reading for you, so you know what those are. So we got residents, locations, and events. So we're going to look at the events. Looks like chapters, ceasefire, crime on the rise. Ooh, those are actually chapters. There's, there was another group in there, chapters. So, so here's the events, you event got cards. Which mm -hmm. are in my hand. Mm -hmm. So that would be your event. Locations. Abandoned College, Central Square, Church, City Hospital, Construction Site, Derelict Squat. Several different locations. So. And residents. Civilians, civilians, deserters, hobos, rats, rebels, soldiers, survivors, thugs. A lot of... I know, reading the Looks rules. like there's going to be a lot of different stacks of cards. I know, it looks easy, but... Choose one of the three available location cards. Final objectives? Food for the hungry, soldiers disarm the civilians, taking care of ourselves. Okay, wow, so we had really the different looks like it's a, a long We had the different colored process. cards. Now we got a set of blue ones as well. Yep, yep. Chris points to something on them. And Findings. Looks like stuff you, you are find. finding in heaps or pantries or furniture. Well, you are scavenging too, so. And visitors. So apparently you get people come and go from where you're at, and they have some have things, some can do things for you. All right. What are the miniatures look like? So, several different miniatures. Simple. They're simple, but we've got 12 different characters, it looks like. Got kind of a plastic rubber. Yeah. Chewy. And we haven't got into the stretch goals yet. This is just. Well. So, how many characters? Uh, no, I mean, how many figures? There's 12, char 12 figures here. Okay. So. You know, they got pretty good detail. I mean, yeah, one's got a camera, like one's mm -hmm. carrying a backpack. I mean, you don't really have to guess what they are if you see it. So this guy with a knife. One's so. got a hatchet. Yeah, with a backpack. Ooh, sound looks familiar. <laughs> well, everybody's got backpacks. And it looks like, ooh, what is this? It's a camera. Okay, that probably is my eyes. It could be. So, Next. the stretch goals, obviously. Stretch goals. You won't miss it. Okay, so in the stretch goals, you know what? Okay. Moving on. Alright, so this was the big statue figure you got. Um, do you know what, what that is called? An angel? You the Don't they one? always portray, like, you know, when there's like you know, post apocalyptic or something like and that? And what's that? It's a the cat! Angel with the <laughs> wow! An angel and a cat. Now, I remember correctly from the stretch goals, these should be the soldier figures. And some more survivors and children. Yeah, you got like children. There was a, see, there was a farmer expansion, the military expansion, the thugs expansion. You got 
dog to go along with the cat and a child. Which is, you know... And somewhere in here there's supposed to be a farm. One of these guys is a farmer. Like we just mentioned it. So it looks it, like you get three thugs, four it's military. It's actually pretty... Well... Teenager. Done. As small as these are. The details, you know? Oh. And look, more dice. Is that a teenager? <clears throat> Those are nice dice. Mm -hmm. Those are the those are the stretch goals for the dice. Oh, I like the texture of these dice. Well, those are the stretch goal ones. Hmm. All right. So, statue, dog, cat, teenager, kid, thugs. Military. Military, and, and I know there. I know there's. There, I just can't. Remember. There, there's so many. Some so, people. Lords of Hella. I think this was. That's sad. Like a promo that you got with this for the Lords of Hella mm -hmm. game. What do you mean? Oh, they just gave it. Because yeah, it was. And it looks bad. good. And some more. And some more. Cards. Because you know. This is a card case. The more the merrier. Alright, so. Oh, God. So, specials? Alarm? Noise, actions. Move the group. Character one space. Room and corridors. Sprint. Move the group. Hiding space. Open space. Rooms. Corridors. Old Our Street one two three and four, <laughs> and blue cards. I tell and you. And stuff mixed in with the blue cards. Didn't we have blue cards before? Oh, that's water. What's water? The bee. Each carrying with drink. One water. Oh. Cool. Orphans of War. Boy, girl, kids. Orphans of War. Yeah. Residents and night raids. All right. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, memories from the past. See, it's just this full must, story I wonder, game. The numbers must correspond to like stuff in the mm -hmm. journals. Yeah, because they have this morning and day action and. Do this and do that, and it's kind of like a real, real story mode. Well, you know, I saw a uh, a review on this, and the guy. Push your knife right there. Yeah, but there's a thing. Yeah, you open it. <laughs> the and guy, the guy said that um, it was extremely accurate to what it's really like. Playing the yeah. video game. No, real life. Oh, okay. Well, like I said when you were opening or it. Or Resident, which has nothing on there. These are all blank. If you're going to brainstorm a game that is like that, you know, that would be really based on. So, for some reason they give you a bunch of blank cards. That corresponds to something. We just don't know it because we really haven't read the whole thing. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, like, it, we don't know, but it looks like for me it's such a story mode right there, like, from the some, beginning. There are a lot of cards with this, though. This has a lot of cards. 
So you said this is a card game, basically? No, I mean, no, you're well, playing the, the cards do all the, you know, where well, you go. Well, those are your actions. Yeah, and what, what you find mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Or blank cards. Lots <laughs> of cards. Lots of cards. That is just the add-on. Now, this was what I was disappointed with. No, this is stretch goal. That's goals. a stretch goal. I'm sorry. Wrong word. Stretch goal. These are the add-ons. Now, I was disappointed with this. Why? Because this is supposed to be the map. Right? Mm -hmm. This was eight pounds. This was like $12 for this. Oh, really? And this was, a, I'm kind of disappointed with this. I, I, yeah, you're kind of expecting I'm expecting a, a map, map, and this is like... A paper. <laughs> well, <laughs> something <laughs> at least bigger. Or more, um, more $12. I, yeah, I wouldn't pay eight pounds for this had I known it was this. Okay. This, okay. uh, this kind of, when I saw this, when I opened up the box, I... Didn't, wasn't really happy with looks that. Looks like something that is an insert of a book. <laughs> yeah. Um, so these are some of the add-ons. Uh, there's memories from the past, which gives you see where we were. You were seeing mm -hmm. we were seeing the M's. Here's where the uh, those come into play. Same thing with the like I said the choose your own adventure style. Correct. Which makes replayability on this extremely high. Looks like it. Uh, Looks more like tokens. It. Now I did get, as far as the uh, add-ons, I did get the uh, all the playable stuff. I didn't go for the resin, any of that stuff, but if it was playable content. Because really their add-ons were relatively inexpensive like i said i'm not really the map i'm not happy with but as far as the rest of the add-ons <coughs> they were they there was no they weren't really that bad some more counters um these are apparently you're only supposed to open these it's a scenario that tells you to open these mm -hmm. so to, don't open it if you know it doesn't say you open um, it about the semi-blank cards, you can find a small bonus in the Incidents expansion, a set of 12 semi-blank sheets, which have a printed side and some basic details on them. They are designed for you to be able to easily create new and unique cards for each of the decks. You can create new findings, events, narrative actions. Oh, so it, it goes wrong with the choose your own adventure. Like we said, it could be whatever you want it to be. And then it explains on the Incidents expansion. Uh, this is for refugees here. Apparently there's a condition track with the refugees. Okay, so this is the very first uh, board game for this game. For right? this game, yes. Right. Uh, Blood in the Snow and Epidemic. Apparently you can have a plague going on while you're playing. Reality. Yeah, I know. Reality, there isn't a lot of medication. And... Final pack. Uh, looks like a postcard. Just wore mine. Uh, another thing that probably you can't open unless can't the scenario tells you to. <coughs> open only after you have managed to successfully finish the campaign. Wow. It's like, this game has full of surprises. Uh, in the heart of the city, including the sewers and the orphans of war. <coughs> so, even more. Now, I like with the number system, though, like the one was M, this one's H. Okay. That's easy to find, right? <coughs> In the the sewers of is the S. Yeah, it'll make it a lot easier to go through the different... Uh, All right. And here's one about the stretch goals. 13th character. Uh, the farmers, the dog and the cat. Desperate <clears throat> measures. Desperate measures. Orphans of War. So, yeah, this explains a lot of them. And 
So this this is yes. looks like it's used for the sewers. One um, I saw cards in there with the maps, and that's what you use for the sewers. Mm -hmm. And apparently, you use this for the uh, soldier one. For the fight. Mm-hmm. The tactics map is what they're calling it. And you got a side uh, A and side B for this. So. This looks like a game that you really have to go through the rule book. Familiar, like, familiarize yourself before you play it. That's yeah, just the an impression that I get. The rule book didn't look big though. No. And I, I think once you get it set up, it probably makes a lot more, a lot of things make a lot more sense right. and all the cards and everything. Because, you know, you can see it, you know. Yeah. What's this for? What's that for? But it looks like it's a lot. Oh, there's a lot. On. There's a lot in this game, a lot going on. So. I, I, I can't wait to throw it on the table and get it going, personally. We yeah, because it looks, you know, just opening the box, I might be saying it's preempt, but it gives you that feeling of well, the game. Well, I gotta tell you, if if, uh, the if the game is the anything game. toward the quality of the figures that you get, the game should be excellent. If they mm -hmm. took half the time to the rule, the... The figures and everything that goes with it. Because look, against the statue, you've even got M16s. Exactly, the, statue, the details. I mean, you know. So anyways, guys, uh, that's This War of Mine, the board game, just released from Kickstarter. Uh, in the next couple weeks, we will get a playthrough and a review done. As always, support your local gaming. We support Discovery Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Across from a pavilion next to Harbor Freight Tools. As always, guys, game on. Game on.